trying to reconfigure everything and whatnot because we was having some issues with the uh, <clears throat> stream. But um, once again, shout out to everybody that be tuning in, supporting. <clears throat> shout out to all the sponsors. Elite Sound International, Big Bob Patterson. Shout out to London LeBlanc Magazine. We got two new sponsors I want to shout out. Shout out to the Snow Goons, they family, and shout out to Creative Juices Music. You know what I'm saying? If you want to buy that fly merc, you know what I mean? Snow Goons, right off the Goons gear on the Instagram and shit. <clears throat> Let me uh, try to get my brothers in here again real quick. Shit, Zach. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, this shit was acting up, man. My bad, yo. It's all good, baby homie. I'm not sure why um I can't get Leo in here. Like, I'm not sure what's up with that. There we go. <clears throat> nah, we got this shit. Nah, we got this shit. Peace. Peace. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Good to see you, brothers, man. It's been a minute, yo. Uh, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Too long, man. Yo, congratulations Word. on what you're doing and shit, you know what I mean? With the Instagram Live and the interviews, that's a really dope thing you're doing. We're honored to be on it. Thank you, and Absolutely. continue progress Absolutely. with that, for real. Definitely, yeah, definitely bro. appreciate that, man. <clears throat> I'm just doing what I can for the coach, you know what I mean? Everything I do Absolutely. is for hip-hop. Word up. <clears throat> Word, man. But, yo, how, how y'all been, though? How was your New Year's? Everything good, man. Everything PC. Tell the birthday boy right here, happy birthday to uh, Last Measure. And happy Boy, birthday to you tomorrow, right. brother. You know what I'm saying? Supreme. So, right. y'all the birthday babies right. up in this bitch. Happy birthday, my nigga. Word. Happy birthday, my nigga. Word. Good looking. Good looking. Yeah, man. Yeah, New Year's was good, man. You know, had a nice little celebration at the crib. You know, a few people came through. Nothing too big. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to keep, get too crowded or anything like that, man. So, just small, you know, immediate family, a couple of heads, and that was it, man. You know what I mean? Nah, I hear that. Ain't nothing bad as a family just chilling at home. You know what I'm saying? Word. Yeah, I'm doing, that shit. I'm doing that shit tomorrow. So trust, I already know. Slur it up. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Usually we go like 13 deep, you know what I'm saying? But we have to cut that down because there's not enough space in the crib to have all those people in social distance at the same time. Slur it. I don't know uh, which one of y'all cameras, but one of y'all's had like the ill feedback. I'm not sure which one. Oh, word. Yeah, yeah, it's like kind of, is that a little better. It might be like somebody's volume's up too loud, so we'll be talking. It's probably like <clears throat> eating back and whatnot. But. Okay, I'm gonna I'm turn my yeah, joint down. Yeah, pump mine down, down too right now. Yeah, they got all. Uh, I got a headset on, so I'm not sure if that down is mine. But. Nah, well, I'll just put my joint down, so let me know if that helps. Should I put Bluetooth on or something? Or something? Uh, yeah. I mean, if you have Bluetooth, yeah, definitely try to use that. Maybe it's just not. <clears throat> All right, let me try that out. Yeah, but I was just telling everybody in the beginning, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Got a couple new sponsors and shit. It's just uh, shouting everybody out and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> you doing your thing, though, Leo, with the fucking, the drop the gem shit, man. Like, I... Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. You know, we took a little uh, hiatus. Uh, you know what I'm saying? To get some life shit together and whatnot. But we're coming back in January. Shout out to Speak No Evil. Word up. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Quest, uh, the whole crew, Killer Monsoon, West Duty, and everything he did with JS1 and the All In Your Mind album. So, you know, the crew's been busy in, in, in general. You know what I mean? And Drop of Gems, definitely, you know, a reflection of that. And, you know, we got some good shit coming up in the future. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, we're just trying to do it for the culture as well and keep it moving. So, you know, that's going to be good. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know. And on the music end, you know, we always getting busy. So, you know, that, that's always there. It's always good to stay busy. Shit. So, I mean, at the end of the day, as long as you're doing something, it's better than nothing. You know what I mean? Like, even with the COVID and everything else going on, at the end of the day, we all contributing somehow. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Well, that brings the peace of mind. Definitely. You know what I mean? That's... That's therapeutic during these crazy times. You know what I'm saying? That helps gives you stability and helps you going forward and provides you with a focus and a purpose. You know what I mean? So I think that's all positive and valuable things for all of us to keep contributing and do these things. You know what I mean? To keep some sort of normality so we all got something to look forward to. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> exactly. I mean, because y'all always been pushing regardless. Like, you know what I mean? I pay attention to everybody's shit. It's hard for me to really keep up because I'm not a social media head, you know what I mean? But I try to keep right. up the best I can with everything. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but, yeah, I mean, for those that don't know, I've known these brothers for a minute. Oh, um, bro. We had an album had together, album uh, together Supremacy uh, Doctrine. Way back. Way back. <laughs> My joint. I love that joint. That love it so much. That Word up. Word. So, like, you know what I mean? We even, um, <clears throat> our first time meeting was at No Ideas Original. My brother DJ and UT show and shit. Shout out to NUT. Word up. UT, what up? Word. That was a good night, you see, yo. Word. Hell uh, yeah. And shout, yo, shout out to Nut and everything he's doing with Freddie Fox. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He changed the radio show to Penitentiary Mail. That was a good look. And, you know, the, the compilations he's been curating with all the artists and the, what he did with Freddie Fox, for the produced by Freddie right. Fox album, like, you know what I'm saying? That's all beautiful shit. I love to see all everyone, you know what I'm saying, we affiliated with doing all these different moves and shit like that. I think that's amazing. And, you know, it's important for all of us to give us those flowers, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to NUT for everything he's doing right now for the culture, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Supremacy Doctrine. Um, I love that album. Uh, there's a vicious rumor going around that we might be like in the preliminary stages of a part two for that. You know what I'm saying? If that's true, I'm looking forward to it. So, you know what I'm saying? We'll see if them rumors, uh, you know, come into fruition and whatnot, you know? Damn, you put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Because I definitely, my we definitely on some empty, shit. Son. The inbox is empty, son. The inbox is empty, Yo, because it's like, you know what it is? I haven't been making beats like that lately. And it's like, you know what I mean? My head is kind of just weird right now with the music shit. <clears throat> but like, especially because, to be honest with you, man, the beats we had on the first joint was so hard hitting. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just look back and it's just like, you know what? Can I even match that? You know what I mean? Like, yes. That's how I feel sometimes. Yes, you can. Definitely. Yes, you can. Word, word. Definitely. I'm not going to afford that definitely. Liberty. That Liberty joint is still like my number one mm. favorite of all time type shit, man. Beautiful. Like, Beautiful. Like, Beautiful. So it's like, Word up. <clears throat> I got to get back in that headspace because, you know what I mean, NUT said the same shit. He was like, yo, just got to go back to the, you know what I mean, the roots. Cause I be like converting to like all this trying to, trying to be in the mix, but I got to go back to that hard boom bap shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. You're never going to lose that shit. It's like riding a bike, you know what I mean? So, you know, right. when you ready, we here, bro. We here. So right, you already know. I got shit on deck. I'm gonna have to send out shit. I'm just trying to think. I know I know your style enough to know what not to send, but at all at the same time, it's like I got all these beats. I'm like, yo, let me send them through. <laughs> you never know. Uh, you know yeah. what I mean? You might like some yeah. some crazy obscure shit. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you never know, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you know how it is, man. It's always a process, man. Like I remember when I first started on um, like doing albums and stuff. I used to go out to Jersey with my cousin. My cousin. And um, like, to, like we would have the joints written, but then, but then, like when it came to matching the beats for the songs, you know, you gotta get a, a certain feel you want, you know, and uh, whatever topic you may have, the, the sentiments of the beat gotta match it, and all that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a tedious process, bro. It's worth going through, and then you know, and then you know, putting it all together. No doubt, no doubt. Guys, on this video. I mean, I mean, well, this year, this I mean, year, I, I got to get, get my head straight. I mean, I'm doing a little bit of this shit, this shit, like, like, yeah, I got to, yeah, I got to, because the first one was fire, it's still like, bumping it's still the whip and the whip and the shit, I definitely want to do some new shit, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, it's new, it's new, like, like, the way the last one was, it was just, it was dope, it was dope, like, word up, so, but we definitely, we're going to be doing that shit. Especially now the holidays is over, I, I might be able to get more back into my shit. My shit. Yeah, yeah. My job is crazy. Right <laughs> no, we know that's that life uh, shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, you still doing your thing, man. You have panic on the show, IDE, man, and you T. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, some good guests so far. Skanks, you know what I mean? So, you know, you've been uh you've been keeping it thorough. So, you know, you definitely doing your thing and shit like that. So salute to you for real, you know what I'm saying? Cause uh I've been peeping that shit and that shit is off the chain. I appreciate it, man. You know what it is? Because a lot of people are getting a lot. Like, there's a lot of shit going around, fooling around, whatever. People are thinking, like, I'm paying for shit. Or this, this, and that. Like, now, some real shit is just all fucking mutual respect. You know what I mean? Like, 
A lot of these dudes that are on the interviews, I meet them for the first time through the interview, and then we build from there. You know what I mean? So Hell that's yeah. kind of that's why this platform is the way it is, and it's important because <laughs> the people that have been on the show are people that I respect, people I love their music, etc. So it's like right. I'm just trying to clear the air with that shit, so people don't think like niggas are dick riding or just you know what I mean, hopping on the first train and whatever the hell happens. You know what I mean? It's not like that. Not like that. Um, um, but yeah, but like, yeah, like, you always like, 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 you know like, you know like, 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 I see you've seen oh, yeah. Decaf Black oh, yeah. on there, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you've been seeing, you know, you be putting in that work too, bro, and it gets noticed, and they're people, authentic motherfuckers. I've seen apathy on your shit, so let's not let's not get that shit uh, shortchanged, you know what I mean? You're definitely putting in that right. work, and right. I think whenever you see produced by Supremely Almighty, that's one of those things where you automatically got hit play on it, you know what I'm saying? That's the like same thing when you say it says DJ and UT Presents, you just hit play on that shit, man. You know that shit is already certified, it's authentic, you know what I mean? So, like, yeah, I just, like, there's certain yeah. things that are just stamps, you know what I mean? And I feel like that about 4042. You see 4040's name, just press play. That shit is fucking quality, you know what I mean? So, you know, you definitely, produced by Supremely Almighty, that's always a good look. So, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's word up, man. You got some timeless shit, word up, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. <clears throat> it's all for hip-hop, you know what I mean? Because even, even when back when everybody was like, yo, fuck hip-hop, this and this and that, I'm always like, yo, fuck you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, hip-hop is in the motherfucking bloodstream, and we ain't buying our way into shit. We ain't doing this and that. We the old school heads, whatever niggas calling us, old heads, whatever. Cool. I'll be a motherfucking old head, nigga, because I ain't bumping that gay shit in my whip, nigga. You know what I mean? I'm keeping it a <laughs> Throw that motherfucking CD right out the fucking window, nigga. Like, I'm not with that. Like, I'll tell nigga any day, and... That's why this is what it's, it's, we're building. Like, you're doing y'all stuff to keep hip hop alive. I'm doing what I can with whatever I got. And you got other people, like you said, they mentioned Snow Goons, ID. They got their movements. They bring in hip hop. They can see bringing hip hop with Bumpy Knuckles. Everybody is trying to keep the art alive. Man. So, at the end of the day, that's what it's all going to boil down to. You know what I mean? Word up, word up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I think the important. Go ahead, bro. Tell him, no, tell him, tell him. Yeah, right now, hip hop is in a good space, man. It's like gradually, slowly, but surely coming back to that state that we was built from, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's looking, um, it's looking, uh, bright for us, you know, in that space, you know, in that space. <clears throat> yeah, you can tell. We, we, we rebuilding the empire because. Now these little niggas with their bullshit want to be like us. They want to have, you know what I mean, Timberlands. They want to be all new walked up. They want to be buying out boots and shit. And you know what I mean? If you're going to do it, do it for the love of the hip hop. Don't do it just to fuck fucking get views and all that dumb shit. You know what I mean? That shit ain't what it's about. No, absolutely, yo. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, you just got to, and the way it is now, man, is like content is king. So, you know, you got to put out some shit. You can't, you got to regularly put out shit and shit like that. You know what I mean? And, you know, not worry so much about the views and the numbers and just worry about you creating your own legacy and discography mm -hmm. and having it be certified by, you know, you don't, you don't, you know, your shit is tight. Don't worry about validation. That shit will validate itself. And then, you know what I'm saying? You'll see that love when it's, when it's supposed to come. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, exactly. like, you know, me and Rich, man, you know, we put out 4040 projects. He puts out Last Measure projects. I put out fucking, you know what I'm saying, LEO projects. You know what I'm saying? And that's the way we've been doing that. And, you know, for us, it's been fucking, you know, it's all under the Killer Monsoon umbrella. You know what I'm saying? And you see our brothers put in work. Quest put out a fucking EP earlier last year. You know what I'm saying? In the Bustillo Brothers project. Like I said, my brother, West Studi, he put out the All In Your Mind album produced by JS1. You know what I'm saying? And that's just been getting a lot of love. You got, like, legends like OC on it. You know what I'm saying? You got fucking uh, Blackistan on it. Craig G, you know what I'm saying? So it's like Primo just played some shit. So it's like, you know, the, the only reason we do it is for that shit. So a brother like Primo could play it. You know what I'm saying? So Supremely Almighty could hit us up and go, yo, when we doing part two, and we just sitting here like, yo, the inbox is empty, son. You know what I mean? So like just, you know what I'm saying? Flood it. Flood it and we ready. We're hungry wolves, bro. You know what I'm saying? The wolves is always hungry around these parts, and that's good. I like that hunger, you know what I'm saying? 
keeps me young and shit, because, you know, we in our fucking 40s and shit, son. So, you know what I mean? We about to change the name of the group to 50 50 in four years. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> oh, shit. That's where we at with the numbers. <laughs> Word, yo. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, definitely got to <laughs> send y'all some shit. Let me just stop procrastinating this shit. But, um, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, y'all, y'all a major part of hip hop and, and the New York shit, too. So, it's like, it's like we, like, we, we, we the superheroes going against the motherfucking villains of the motherfucking industry. So, it's like, <clears throat> That's kind of how it be, you know what I mean? Like y'all, y'all as separates, the fucking dope as fuck, and even and as a group, it just complements everything even even more. You know what I mean? So it's like for those that don't know y'all separately, they need to check out the catalog, etc. Murder. Y'all got y'all got bars, you know what I mean? Got your beat selections are always on point. Like y'all y'all got everything on lock. You know what I mean? Appreciate that, brother. Word up. Appreciate that, yo. Yeah, yeah, and yo, definitely. Um. You know what I'm saying? Like the last year and change, you know what I mean? We fucking 4040 put out the genetic code. You know what I'm saying? Last measure put out State of Chakras recently. He put out the All Measures album. You know what I'm saying? I put out the Nostalgia and the Blood. You know what I'm saying? And that was all produced yeah. by my brother Explicit and Verse Wall on All Measures tip. So both incredible producers. And yo, next year, you know, Set Silencer, yo. You know what I'm saying? The God Set Silencer, who you've heard on Mayhem Lawrence shit. You know what I'm saying? You heard him on plenty fucking crazy projects. And, you know what I'm saying, he's producing the next 4040 album. Um, he's producing, the, we're doing the SNL live from Maple Park, Side B. Uh, fucking Meta Humans 2, Last Measure and Silencer. And, um, yo, man, we're just going to keep it going. And, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, son, the inbox is empty. So, you know what I'm saying? Send them shit. So then, you know, we got the Supremacy Doctrine 2 locked and loaded. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we got some shit on lock. You know what I'm saying? And we're just going to keep, keep, keep grinding it out, man. And, you know, drop a gem show. That's coming back full full effect. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all those that still support it. You know what I'm saying? And we still getting, like, daily subscribers and people checking out certain episodes, and it's beautiful. So continue to check that out because, you know, that's coming in the future. And, you know what I'm saying? We're just going to keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? Just like y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's all we want. <clears throat> exactly. Exactly. Now, I might catch y'all off guard with a lot of shit. So, okay. so you know what I mean? This is just how I do and shit. I, I gotta catch y'all niggas off guard on your motherfucking toes and shit. So, all right. I'm pretty sure this one is self explanatory, but I figure I'm also tossing it out there. All right, so where y'all come up with the name 44? <laughs> yeah, definitely the age. That that definitely uh, came into play because we met, you know what I'm saying, uh, in our late 30s and we were just turning 40. So we were looking for like a fucking, you know, clever name and shit like that. And uh, that was the first thing that came up, you know what I mean? And, and we're not lying, you know what I'm saying? The minute we hit 50, we're going to change the name of the group to 50-50, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so we, 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 we those kind of motherfuckers, we'll just we switch it up like that and just, you know, throw you off for a loop and shit, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it's strictly related to the age, and you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't catch on to that, but when they do, you know what I'm saying? They're like, ah, okay, that was very obvious, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta ask that shit. Um, <clears throat> let me see what happened with this man. Shit, it's internet dump dip that. Well, why I got you? <clears throat> oh, uh -huh. where did you come up with your name? Your stage name? Love equals. Yeah, yo. So you know, like when I was in high school, you know, what I'm saying, like you know, you try to come up with your own little names, like you know, for, like tags and shit. And I had one called Cuckoo. And like as I got older, you hear more people, you know, tag it and having similar names and shit like that. And it got to a point where I just didn't like it. And then there was a MC, shout out to Kuka, the Bag of Bones from NYC. So like, then it was just like, nah, I can't do that. You know what I mean? So then I just wanted to do something that was more natural that related to my name, Leo, you know what I'm saying? So I figured, you know, do some KRS shit where it's like an acronym, you know what I'm saying? Cause I was like one of my favorite MCs growing up. So I did it for LEO and I came up with love equals omnipotence. You know what I'm saying? And for me, that's a life mantra. I live that shit. You know what I mean? My whole shit is if you got love in your heart, you got love towards everybody, like, that's powerful. And that's the most powerful shit, you know what I'm saying, that you could possibly have in your life. And if you continue to have that, I feel like good things will come to you and you put in that work and the universe will will itself, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I live by that. So, yeah, love equals omnipotence. That's that's the, <clears throat> the etymology and shit. No doubt, no doubt. So uh, same question for you last message. What I asked was, <clears throat> what, how did you get your stage name? On oh, my stage name, that was through my boy Cerebo and shit. We used to build with um back in the days with a group we had called For Me and Doom. And um when we was in high school, we used to always say, like, yo, you got that kind of style, like you 
come in last and, and murder that last verse type shit. So he gave me the name last measure and the start. Now, no doubt. <clears throat> Yo, I think your mic is a little too low now. I'm trying to go off of what I hear on my side, please. You know what I mean? Everybody got different tones, different dogs. Oh, raise it up, measure, raise it up. Yeah, I put it back all the way up now. No doubt. <clears throat> yeah, as long as I can hear you, you know what I mean? Everybody can hear you, that's all that matters. Um, yeah, man. <clears throat> all right, so. Yo. I did want to mention the uh, too. I don't know if y'all pre prepared for all that, but I figured I threw it out there anyways, yo. Y'all y'all think y'all would be that special versus, yo? Oh shit, look at this motherfucker. He's throwing <laughs> it like that on us. Oh damn. You know what I'm but saying? I didn't catch the, I didn't catch the he, he, he he trying to he trying to throw us in the cipher, yo. <laughs> That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> Oh, you want to pit a cobras, nigga? <laughs> he's trying to throw us in a safer yeah. right now, son. That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> nigga, you know how this is hip-hop, nigga? You know how we do, <laughs> son? Like, you know what I mean? I, I know y'all niggas got bars somewhere, you know what I mean? Like, I love <laughs> it. I love it. Yeah, of course, I want everybody to hear your shit, because unfortunately, the one downside to this shit, bro, is that <clears throat> I can't play music, which is real man fucking, it's fucking gay, because I can't play niggas y'all music, because then... Instagram, YouTube, whatever the fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They start down. throwing the clamp down and shit. Yeah, I hear you. <clears throat> so I figured if I ask artists to spit bars, you they can get the quality without the beat and judge for themselves. Go check your shit out after type shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Well, yeah, I mean, okay. if y'all don't got nothing, it's cool, but I know y'all got something. I mean, you know the you know the temple was always filled, you know what I mean? But what kind of, what you wanna do? You wanna throw some words or something? Oh, okay, look at this guy. Oh shit. <laughs> try, to, try to do it like throw that. Some words, throw some words and set in the Word goal. association, okay. Look at this. Or go on shit. Let me see. <clears throat> nah, yeah, you got down for that shit. I'm down, I'm down. Of course you <laughs> I just try to make sure everybody can hear you first, though, because, like, are you able to hear him? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you guys fine. <clears throat> all right, so maybe it's just my shit. Oh, man. All right. all right, fuck it. We set this small fucking shit off. Nigga, it's the first right here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ain't no way niggas do this shit like that no point. You know what I'm saying? So we do this all right. shit. All right, I got you. I got you with a word. All right. Spiders. What's the word? What's the word? Spider. 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 Oh, spider. Okay. Spider. I. I don't really deal with spiders. I deal with snakes on the world wide web. And today is a revelation. The tribulations, trials that we go through. I met spiders, but the web got fuller, bigger. Uh, no filler, no filler. Niggas is stepping to us and jump a scared nigga. Cremated, infiltrated. Throw another word at me and I'm dictated. Fuck around, ate it, ate it. Like a hungry nigga on it. I'm starving man. Pardon me, I'm starving me, I'm starving man. Uh, 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 kick it back, kick it back. <coughs> relax, relax. When it's time to match, the Supreme, the Almighty, the Supreme, the Almighty trash. trash. Bring it back. Bring it back. This is the acapella. Is the acapella. Me and Leo, Me and Leo, Leo murder the shit like good fellows. Well connected. Well connected. Interconnected. Interconnected. World. World. Wow. 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 Bring it back. To Bring it back to what's right that shit. Bad. That's pretty bad. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I'm right now. I'm right now. I'm right now. Spider hit you in your radius with eight arms like I was Dr. Octavius. Spider like uh, Silva uh, Anderson rhymes that I'm brandishing when I'm cross examining. Spider when I smack you off the wall, hit you with artillery webs, I watch you fall. Spider, when I'm coming off the building, revealing with a feeling every emotion you're concealing. Spider, like I was a UFC prize fighter, I'm the igniter, the highlighter. 
spider mm, mm. like I was a tarantula. When I come and get you, yo, I'm a very substantial love with the weed smoking. Never be I joking. Every time I'm coming, the rhymes are interwoven like a spider's web. Maybe it was Charlotte when we kill a pig or calling her a harlot. I don't really care about all these celebrity starlets like Free Britney. I'm here to say I never smoke like Whitney. So I just do it like I was Bill Bixby. Rid through the clothes. I meant to say Bixby. Then I'm smoking Vortex. clothes and I don't mean garlic or onion. When I got the spider, he's always into something. Climbing up my wall like he was Peter Parker. Three Spider-Men if you see them in the cinemas. But I get mad because none of them are darker. We need a spider Miles Morales when we come into our vision. Every time I rhyme with the glow, it's like Stevie's in the vision. Nothing is fiction. It's all ill bill when I kick the non-fiction. That's a description of a spider. Yo, Vortex. Vortex. <laughs> Vortex. We go through in the cosmic. Sloppy toppy. Shit is nonstick. Uh, non-religious. Non-fictitious. This is that real shit. Never fiction. Uh, bring it back. Keep it real. With Supreme Almighty Acapella, no still. Still. Give you something to feel. Yo, going through the vortex. Like going through vagina walls and raw sex. Uh, mm. you next. From the spectrum. Yo, I got angles, them red rectangles. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, Off the top of the dome. It's like a terror dome. Non fictional. Yo, trivial. Question it. You might, you might, you might have to might question, have to question, question my, integrity my integrity when I start to hit you with the severity. Yo, 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 bring yo, it, bring it, back, bring it back like a scratch, like on, a scratch the track on the track by a DJ. By DJ. See me play. Me play the way we the go, way we go, go deeper than six feet. Than six feet. Six feet Six deep, for rest, deep in for rest in peace. Bring you the cash, the cash the tomb, and, the tomb, all, the and all the other shit. Yo, keep it Yo, distance. Keep it distance. We not having. We not it. having it. Smack you with the Smack tragic, with the shit. tragic shit. Oh, uh, Leo, uh, jump, L -E -O in, jump in, just a double dutch. Nigga, get in my hands. Get in my hands. You get the fucking smack of the clutch. Smack in the clutch like a cobra, spider. Throw you in the vortex, polar. You ain't no rider. Polar vortex like this was January. Wait a minute. It is January. We're about to get hit with the freezing cold. 15 inches of snow. I can't believe the shit will explode or implode. We might get water, raising water levels. I don't think I like it. I don't want to be the rebel. No more insurrections in January 6th. That'll be its own vortex. Really is a bitch. Vortex like going through dimensions beyond my comprehension. Animated suspension. I don't like the tension. Even all the riches. I see all these motherfuckers, dumb sons of bitches. Jeff Bezos want to go to fucking outer space. I say leave him there. I hope he fucking suffocates. Got the billions that could save the poor and the children, but none of them are fucking willing to help civilians. Shit is fucking evil, evil fucking fucking pavilion. I hate all that shit. I'd rather be brilliant and resilient. I'd rather find the cure to cancer. What's the answer? I don't even know. I just flip phrases and stanzas. I'm just here to reprimand you. You're underhanded. I don't like the shit the way it's explained to triple sevens. Every time I rhyme, I do it worse than a dirty reverend. The kind that's fucking, you know, raping the rectory. I don't like to say disrespectful shit, but that shit disrespectful to me. I don't mm. like the legacy of anyone that wants to live in the world of severity. That shit just merits temerity. No dexterity or sincerity or empathy. Just let it be like John Lennon. Even he got his head exploded, corroded. Yoko Ono was there eating pieces of brain on her lips. I don't like that shit. I don't know why I'm so descriptive with my wit. I'm just doing some really serious shit for Supreme the Almighty. It's like Bruce Almighty saying, all righty, coming out the back of a rhinoceros's ass. Yeah, I think that was Ace the Ace Ventura, pet detective, so selective. When I rhyme like it was a January insurrection, brought it back to January in the vortex, getting real cold in the shit, hit you with the solar plex. I think uh, last measure said, hit you with the Cobra clutch. It's over now. Smoke you like that Dutch, the Adam Martinez is smoking right now. But it's really made out of metal. Metal like Dr. Octavius with his arms. Bring it back to the stilettos and all etiquette. This is just the way Elio rhymes. I'm not a felon. That's a predicate. Mm. 
Yeah. Nice. <laughs> what the fuck I'm talking about, nigga? <laughs> I need that live shit, you know what I mean? Like, there you go. That, that puts you on the spot shit. shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Boy, that's the motherfucking hip-hop I'm talking about. I made off the motherfucking heavy shit, you know what I mean? All right. Word, that shit's dope, man. I like, I like, man. That's what I'm saying. I love how y'all rhyme together, man. Y'all, y'all, we cool that shit. You know what I mean? Y'all just compliment each other with the style and the way y'all rhyme the shit. So it's like, all right. it's a good Definitely, thing. Forty forty is the motherfucking truth, nigga. You know what I mean? <clears throat> y'all need, we need more groups like y'all, like the the, the two man duo, the dynamic duo shit. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's what we are, yo. We like the little Latin EPMD and shit. That's the way we like to refer to ourselves. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm about, to fuck, I'm about to throw this video up right quick, y'all guys. <laughs> shit. See if I can get this shit without Instagram booting my ass. But yeah, back to um, what y'all was talking about, shit. <clears throat> so, yeah, y'all work with mad people, though. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, Y'all work with mad people, y'all know mad people and shit. And you flat dead in the middle of the New York and shit, so you holding it down the way it's supposed to be held down, you know what I mean? Oh, um, up. <clears throat> but like, have you guys ever considered getting signed? Like, you know what I mean? Dealing with the, the industry and all that? Mm, nah, not for me, bro. I think I'm too old for that shit. You know what I mean? I think that's yeah. that's bad. Yo, big shout out to Decaf Black, son. He's fucking. He's all in this fucking comments, yo. Yeah. Salute, brother. You know what I'm saying? Me. We fans of your shit, too. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you and Mike right. Hands. You know what I'm saying? So we up on all that shit. And, you know, we got mad love for you, too, brother. So salute right. and shout out to you. Right. 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 Um, right. Nah, right. man, yo. I'm, I'm, old, I'm an old man, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking 46. I, my kids are seven. I love them. I like hanging out with them. I don't really like anything that would prevent me from being around my children every day. You know what I mean? So... Touring excessively, yeah. doing all that crazy shit that I need to do to fucking, you know, be some big time celebrity. That's not really in my fucking, you know what I mean? That's not in my DNA right now, you know what I mean? Just being perfectly honest. That's why I just love doing this for fun, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, nah, I'm not really on that blow up spectrum right now, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, back yeah, in the yeah. days when I when I first started, me and my group that I was with at that point, like final chapter, we used to go hard doing shows all over the city, Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, all over the place, and we used to try to get deals back then, but... Like, after a while, it just, like, we even came this close to fucking, like, signing to a subsidiary of Def Jam and shit like that, like Island Black and shit, but we got caught up in the shuffle, the niggas started going through fucking, like, management changes and ownership changes and shit, and we got caught in the shuffle and that shit, you know, it really came about, but... Like, after a while, it's just like, nah, man, you know, grab off, go off on an independent route. Yeah, and you don't really need I mean, that right now, you know what I mean? Like, if you're really serious yeah. right now, like, if you're really trying to make this a career and you got investors, you don't need a label right now. You have all the resources before you to put your shit everywhere online from videos to digital media, all that. You could spend money on a marketing promotion package if you really wanted to go that serious route, you know what I'm saying? And you could put all that money in yourself and reap all the benefits, you know what I mean? Look at an artist like Russ, you know what I'm saying? Like, He's fully 100% independent, and he makes millions of dollars, and he just put out an underground album called Chomp 2 with every underground fucking, you know what I'm saying, big big dude out there from Ghostface to Benny the Butcher to Primo, you know what I'm saying? And he didn't have to do that, you know what I'm saying? And he did that just for himself, for the love. And this is a guy who makes millions of dollars selling hip-hop. And he'll tell you, don't you don't need a label, you know what I'm saying? He does it on his own, and he gets all that money because he owns all of that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, now <laughs> with all the accessibility you have on the internet, is 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 really not worth being signed to a label when you, most likely, you know, most of these artists, they don't know they publishing, they don't know they copyright, they don't know they trademark or none of that. To go to a label, if you don't have none of that stuff in place, you just going to get raped. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's not even worth it. You might as well build your own credibility, go out there, do your own shows, you know what I'm saying? Build your own audience, you have a staff staff audience, you're putting out music, the people that fuck with you, it's the people that fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, that's the thing, 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 I feel like the I labels like are the just labels a step in stone to get where you need to be. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody had talked about before, before y'all. Before a lot like, of them said the same shit. Labels, 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 labels was a good thing back in the day, maybe. But independent is more the way to go. 
work and you own everything. I feel like if you're going to put all those blood, sweat, and tears in to create something yeah. that epic, yeah. Why not own all of it? You know what I'm saying? Why give away yeah, that shit yeah. to anyone? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not worth it to me. It's like, yeah, you know, I feel like my, yeah. my art is like my children. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't feel like I want to give that up to ever anyone. You know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah, that's pretty much what everybody's saying, too. Like, creative control is the most important thing <clears throat> to a hip-hop head. You know what I mean? Because if you are doing that rap shit or you're doing that commercial shit, you got to abide by certain rules and boundaries. Yep. And that's bullshit because, you know what I mean? We ain't motherfucking pets with a collar. Like, we're the type that we're supposed to be running around doing what we got to do, take care of ours, and not be stripped from our families to go on and do whatever the fuck these niggas say. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not the best option, but... Some people Some like people that shit because like of the studio shit. time, whatever. But I mean, you got paid all back, so it don't make no sense. It's a loan, yeah. It's like yeah. Razzcast said. It's a it's a loan with a fucked up interest rate. You know what I'm saying? So you know, yeah, you got to pay back. It's called recoupment. You got to pay all that back. You know what I mean? Exactly. <clears throat> I mean. I still tell niggas this back in the days when they're like, yo, I got this label, I got this money. It's like, that's cool, but yo, <laughs> the shit that comes along with that, the consequence, it ain't worth it. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, definitely not. Worse. Definitely so, not. I mean, it's better to be uh, independent. I mean, <clears throat> at the end of the day, go independent, stack your bread, you know what I mean? Invest in your own business, come up with your own shit, get a business license, make your own shit. I mean, it's really not exactly. that complicated as it used to be because everything is more nah. fucking digital now. Nah, like, yeah, like yeah. Decaf just said, you just got to do the work. Yo, put in them 10,000 hours. That's it. You put in them 10,000 hours, you'll see results. You know what I'm saying? Slowly but surely, but you'll see them shits for sure. You know it's mean? all respect, yo. At the end of the day, it's all respect because <clears throat> it's easy to play the fool. When you're sitting there clicking the little motherfucking like button and just mm -hmm. keep it moving, but then there's others, niggas like me, I'm going to click the like button, I'm going to share the motherfucking shit, I'm going to take the time to hit y'all up, I'm going to take the time to do... Like, that's what I feel like a real fan is, but also a real nigga because we're supposed to Absolutely. support each other. And at the end of the day, <clears throat> if we ain't paying for our own niggas to get into their dreams... That you also you tearing, them tearing them down. Right. That's a fact. That's a fact. Word, son. You know what I mean? Ask and you see, man. This nigga drops a fucking the bumpy knuckle shit. I bought the shit. I ain't happy. That's family. But I'm doing Absolutely. that because that's what we need to do for each other. We need to take care of each other. You know what I mean? Family and shit. So I'm going I'm to yeah, do that. Yeah. I saw they just put out the limited vinyl. That shit was looking real crispy. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of good shit going for him too, man. I, I, I'm glad he's got his shit going because he's he puts in a lot of work. Him, decaf, y'all, all y'all be putting in motherfucking work. <laughs> Word, absolutely, son. That's the way it's supposed to be, yo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you just put it in, and then you know you'll see it. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta do it for yourself, man. You can't, you know, when you come in, you know, just anyone that's gonna do this, also expect people not to like that shit. You know what I mean? You have to understand, like, you know, DKF not saying it's tough to get love back. Yes, expect not to get love back. You know what I mean? Expect people yeah. not to do that. Expect people to, to like you from afar. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? Because that's very, very telling. And that happens a lot, too. You know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll notice. They'll, just, they'll just never let you know that they notice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, um, you know, but it's always, I think, you know, for, for us to do this, like, you know, there should be no ego. Everyone's talented around us. That should just, you know, you accept that for what it is. And you know what I'm saying? You show love and you give it back and that, keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? But don't get ever get caught up in that hype. You know what I mean? Because it's not it's not healthy mentally and it's not going to get you nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's kind of like a new relationship. You can't have expectations of shit. You just got to right. go in, do what you can. You got to be honest with yourself, be yourself, and just hope for the best. If you're going with expectations like, oh, everyone's got to love me the same way. Everybody's got to feed me the same way as I feed them. It's never going to happen. Because at the end of the day, everybody can play the motherfucking good, nice nigga. But, you know what I mean? Most of them are just for self. That's how that's how mm -hmm. it down and shit. Yeah, man, I never really um, seen the music with, with the Lord or oh, who's going to like it, who's not going to like it. I just, I just feed it. You know, I do what I feel in my heart with that. 
and I put it out. And I put it and out. Who love 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 they support it, support it. And who don't, and who don't, it's all love. It's all love. But I never like you said, 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 I never like like, you just like, gotta, you know, just how gotta to know how to mingle with it. You, know you know what I mean? Everybody's, Everybody's more fucking slime ball when it comes to this shit. If, if, if you don't pay you attention, don't attention, you're gonna get stuck into, into the shit. Yeah, some niggas yeah, some just like, yo, just pay me money, money I'll be money, your best I'll friend. Be best I'll be like, fuck with that. You know what I mean? Like, everybody needs to be working together. They respect you, they respect you. Fuck that. Like me, if I go into a legend or some shit, you just work together. Like, I'm a broke ass nigga, but we can try to make something happy. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They say no, they say no. You gotta respect the hustle, but at the end of the day, I don't have an expectation like, nah, I bought these niggas albums way back in the day, so they own me. That's not how we need to look at the game. No, absolutely not. That's definitely not how it works, you know what I'm saying? So it's like shit. <laughs> People got it all fucked up with the social media shit. Everybody hide behind a motherfucking computer and shit, and talk they shit. And, but at the end of the day, man, buy the motherfucking albums. I don't get it. Like, I never understood that shit. How's niggas spending $200 on motherfucking Jordans, but can't spend $10 to support their friend? Yep. That's yeah. how it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you'd be, you, you know, a lot of times you also got to accept the fact that your best friends aren't going to be your supporters. You know what I'm saying? Your biggest supporters are more than likely going to be strangers in another country. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's what yeah. you know. And you focus on your supporters. You know what I'm saying? You know these person. You have their email. You got their number. You know what I'm saying? You know how to reach them. You know what I'm saying? Those are the people you're tagging. Those are the people that, you know, when your shit comes out, you're letting them know about it. You know what I'm saying? Because your, your friend, best friend your is friend. probably not going to listen to your entire project. They'll, they right. might skim through two or three songs, but they're not listening to the whole thing. And that's a harsh reality a lot of people still don't like to accept. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's what it is. So, you know, you find like-minded individuals and you focus on them because those are the ones that are going to focus on you. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> you, can't have, you can't have expectations because the nigga's cool with you. The nigga could have grew up with you like I was talking about. It. They're still gonna, they're still gonna have those doubts. It's still gonna be. I mean, that's the other thing too. We get a lot of it gets confused because a lot of it is not just because they're lazy. A lot of it's because they're jealous. I mean, it sucks mm -hmm. to say that because we should, we should be more fucking notes. We shouldn't be having to be like that with each other. But the ego tripping and shit. But you know, you got niggas that be like, nah, you shouldn't do that. It's not a good move. This shit ain't that dope. It's because they jealous. Because you know what I mean? Like they know you got it popping. You doing shit. They wish they could be doing it, you know, a lot of times they're gonna they're gonna fool you. Yeah. Right. You, you know what it is too, um, Supreme? Right now with this dig, um, digital streaming, internet, everything is, is accessible. Even if you put it out to a media that's gonna charge people, they got they also put it out to media that that they could just listen to it, and they don't really have to pay for it. So you know, people kind of feel like, oh, why do I have to pay for it? If I can listen to it over here, you know what I'm saying? So, so that that shit that, that shit don't help. Yeah, see, I definitely yeah, thought, about, definitely that thought about that too. Cause like, cause like, <laughs> bootlegging <laughs> is now the easiest now the shit ever. Easiest like, like before, you had, before you had the live wires, you know, whatever it is, everybody's using this shit. Napster, try to strip the music and shit. And now it's like it's easy as fuck. All they gotta do is upload a CD, and they can just fucking just tap into a little video and put the shit up. Yep. Yeah, yep. absolutely. So it makes it, it makes it easy yeah, it for for easy people to like straight rob niggas, and at the same time, it don't make sense to <laughs> it don't make sense to invest mad money into something, especially when somebody gonna bootleg the fuck out. Yeah, you're not lying about that, bro. You know what I'm saying? So Whoa, it gets frustrating because yeah. if you're the one putting in all the money and all the overhead and resources, and then you like you know. You put it out, and on the first day, that shit is fucking already getting bootlegged somewhere where you can get it illegally downloaded. It's fucking... It doesn't make you want to put out another project, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Oh, shit. Exactly. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm showing this little video and shit. Like, <laughs> shit was dope as fuck, man, when I... Yeah, yeah. Dropped. What's that? 
There you go. Look oh, at that. Produced by Supreme the Almighty. Yep. Shout out to Kevin, Kevin Five for that dope art, man. That's, that's right. Fire. Yeah, that shit came out. Crazy out. Word. Word up. <laughs> Word. So, yeah, so this is this was off the album we put together and shit, the Supremacy Document and shit. <clears throat> we are uh, just a little knowledge and whatever, backtrack for everybody. I met these brothers through my brother at UT. You know right. what I mean? Like, that's how everything started with that. And then we just started talking, we politicking, and we was like, yo, fuck it, put some shit together. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it was beautiful, man. Fuck it. And you know what's crazy? I'm like, you know what's crazy is fucking those two joints right there, you was originally, before we even had the idea for a group project, you were doing a fucking, like, a little EP or something where you was doing, like, little quick solo joints and shit like that. And I, I did What's That for that, and we raised Supreme fucking Rich did for that shit, too. So those were two solo joints for your shit. And then that shit didn't happen for whatever reason. And then we started talking about the group shit, and we were like, fuck it. We're just going to take these two joints and make them the... The solo joints for the project, and then everything else we just did as a forty forty song, and it was fucking crazy. Yeah, well, it worked perfectly though, cause like I wasn't uh, yeah. expecting the mix up for the video, cause we didn't even discuss that shit till after you already nope. dropped it. I was like, oh shit, <laughs> I was like, All right. I was like, this nigga Leo rocking, you know, this nigga measure somewhere, you know, and they're floating around, and then next thing you know, slap. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, this nigga comes in off the ill fucking that beat I made and shit. I was like, oh, alright, cool, man. Like everybody, I was glad y'all put it together like that, cause it was well put together. It's a dope video too, though, like. Yeah, yeah, just some queen shit, you know, riding around the city type shit, you know what I mean? Just some real low yo, budget, but not for now, yo, like last message, bro. You got the craziest voice for this hip-hop shit, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Good looking, bro. I appreciate that. Boy, because, like, when I heard you rapping this shit, I was like, yo, damn, this, I, don't, I can't tell if you a humble dude or you an animal, because, like, the way your voice sound, I said. <laughs> yeah, I'm two He's and tall. one, you know what I'm saying? He's you get tall. two for one. Word up. <laughs> Boy, right the next to rock this monster, you got the crazy voice, bro. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah, it's crazy. The world to me coming from you, bro. Word. Word, yo, but um, yeah, this shit was hot. The whole album was fucking fire. <clears throat> I mean, I don't really, I don't really see a skip button on that whole playlist. The shit was fucking lit. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. It was put together the way it was meant to be. You know, we went through a whole bunch of your joints. And she was sequenced to perfection. So, nah, man, that shit was fucking... Yeah. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful process from the videos to recording to picking and writing, man. So, you know what I mean, man? Yeah, man. Can't wait to do it again, brother. You know what I mean? Word. Shout out yeah, to man, my man start the video and shit, too, man. I Word. remember, yo, yo, Supreme, I remember, too... Like, you had hit me up, like, yo, you want to do, uh, like, uh, like, an intro joint for, for, I'm not sure if it was, um, uh, London LeBlanc or, or one of your Oh, the radio shows. show? You had that. And, um, and I had that, like, a, like, a solo intro to it. Did you? Do you remember? Do you remember? It's, yo, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, this was years back. It's all right. Yeah. 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 First, yeah I'm going to be, I'm gonna be real with you, nigga. I'm a little dusty with, with my, <laughs> my past. So it's like, yeah, because the London LeBlanc shit, like, we, we closed that down and then we brought it back. So it's like, I don't even remember most of what happened with that whole, whatever mm. you want to call it. Um, yeah, I do remember yeah. asking people for intros. Stop it! I don't know what the fuck happened after that. Yeah, man. we did one for yeah. too. We did a we did a promo for that shit too, yo. Forty forty joint. Yeah. yeah. Or oh, was it the Back to the Basics radio intro? That was that what it, it, yeah, yeah, we did. For that was the oh, okay, okay, okay. That's yeah, I was thinking. I'm like the London the Basics. Basics. Was, Yeah, nah, that's what um, we did it for. Back to the Basics. Yeah. I don't remember if I played it or not because the you know what's the other problem? All the shows I did for the Back to the Basics, they they took them down because of copyright bullshit. <clears throat> so I can't even re listen to my shows or not like that. None of that shit safe. So yeah, I'm I'm hella tight. But um I don't know if I played y'all joined it now. I do remember that though. I think you did. I think you, yeah, you did, did a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Look down back. <laughs> I'm just glad because I don't want nobody coming at me like, yo, fuck this day. <laughs> it's like, nah, yo, I have I no remember, control over it. I remember that was the first joint we did for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how we all got started. Like, like boom. We yeah, it worked. That joint, and then from there on, like all the other joints, you know, the what's that and the. Uh, uh, 
the su- my supreme. The supreme, supreme, supreme. Yeah. Yeah, shit, this shit, shit is crazy. I like that other joint too. Yo, y'all got a lot of storytelling shit on the album. Yeah, yeah I appreciate yeah. the fuck out of it. <clears throat> Especially the one where y'all had Street Fighter at the end, nigga. I was like, yo, I was mad open and shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's right. That was the begotten joint, I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. The beloved shit. Yeah, that shit was ill. And yo, my fucking sons love what the fuck you did to hate love. Oh, thank you, yo. Yeah, we love uh, that joint. Yeah, we love awesome, that joint. Salute Not to, to this day, nigga. I'm going to call it my favorite track was Liberty, like I said. It's just <clears throat> yeah, the way she Liberty sang in the hook, the way y'all sounded with the track, everything was just fucking like, it was, it was dope. <clears throat> yeah, good looks, bro. Yo, yeah, now nah, that Lady Liberty joint, that's like just a nice the whole concept about liberty and what it means and what freedom means to you and shit like that, like. And then, you know, personifying it, like, yeah, nah, man, that the beat dictated that, and that shit was, uh, you know, that was magic right there, for real. Yo, I'm going to call it right now, man. I know it's years late and shit, but I still think I should do a music video, too. Celebrity? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, why not, bro? That's never too late now, you know what I mean? Why not? We could always do a fuck. Music's timeless, so we could always yeah. do a fucking joint for that. That shit would be dope like some animated shit, you know what I mean? Like some, you know, yeah, of yeah, justice yeah, yeah. and freedom and making it like a cartoon character, like the Lady Liberty character with the fucking scales and shit. Do some crazy shit with them. Mm. I'm saying, that shit, that shit was banging. Everybody that heard that shit was like instant in love and shit with everything. It was just like, all right, yo. <laughs> like, is there a video? I'm like, nah, maybe one day, though, you know what I mean? I, I, I wait yeah. for that shit. I put that motherfucking shit on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, that's no my God. shit. Word up. No doubt, no doubt. So yeah, I looking mad we're young in that old. video measure. We looking mad young. Was that like 2016, 2015? 2018, like yeah. the video was put up. No, oh, was it 2018? All right, four years ago. Shit. I don't Probably know if so somebody much. else's fan page or some shit or y'all's because it's like, <laughs> it says Unleashed by Science. That's my page. Now, that's my old group. So I kept that <clears> name just like as a homage to my old group from back in the days. That's my page. Should, should, should I subscribe? <laughs> yes, sir. The fuck, I sir? Bet. You, don't. Damn, you know what son. it is? You know what it is? It's because, like, it's hard to keep up with all this shit. And every time I mm-hmm. think I'm here and subscribe, that shit says, nope, you ain't subscribing to no one, nigga. I'm like, yo, what? Mm-hmm. Damn. Nah, you, <laughs> so you, go. you got more views go. on this page, then. Let me uh, let me head up in here, Because. All right, cool. All right, cool. Bet. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's, 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 let's just let's play around with this shit, right? Here. All right, so yeah, there you go. Yes, yeah, another forty forty joint right there. Hypnosis. So, Word up. We gonna let that rock for the people so they can check that shit out. Go on to YouTube. <clears throat> Unleashed by science. You know what I mean? Go, 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 go. Subscribe to that shit. Um. <clears throat> now back to what I was saying. Um. So what what do you think is the next step besides like? Like, what you currently are working on. Like, do you feel like there's any artist that you want to, like, hop on the album with y'all, like, outside of your camp? Hmm. I'm going to let you take that one, Measure. Anyone you want to, anyone on the bucket list you want to throw on the project? Uh, I don't know, man. We're going to have to get Supreme on the joint, you know, because I, I know that's going to be having some shit. I oh, Supreme long, rhyming, Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Word this nigga almost had me hit the I floor like or something when he said that. I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah, yo, we're yo, we're going to need a... Joint, man. We're gonna yo, to get word up. We're going to need... Some, we're gonna, we're, it's going to be featuring Supreme and Decat Black. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, that would so be dope. we need both of y'all around that. that shit you know would bump. <laughs> that shit would bump. That, yo, real tour. Word up. Yo, you know, shout out to SC Static because he was on the first album. Um, yeah. He stayed doing this thing. He stayed grinding, putting out crazy yeah. shit. Yeah. Shit is banging. So, yo, we definitely got to... Have him do a return favor, you know what I mean? I think I like that right well, there. That joint was crazy yeah. how y'all all float on that shit, too. Hell shit yeah, perfect. I love that shit. Yeah, yeah, I love I know, that I know everybody right was a little doubtful at first. Well, I, I guess because more on y'all side, because you didn't know it, my boy like that. But, like, I know y'all didn't, wasn't sure what he was going to come with. And then when he dropped that shit and I sent it to y'all, y'all was like, yo, this shit's crazy. I was like, yo, and then y'all came with y'all shit. And I'm like, yo, this shit was a master plan. Yeah, nah, yeah, he was, he's amazing. I, he, he, because of your affiliation with him and y'all working on that, y'all worked on that, um, uh, with that military mind shit or whatever it was, the, 
the whole shit about money and uh um, oh, monetary minds, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, monetary <clears throat> minds, right, right. Yo, ever since then, I became an instant fan of his, yo. You know what I'm saying? And I've been following him ever since then. I still follow his shit to this day. You know what I'm saying? So I like I love that righteous rebel righteous rebel project he just came out with. So um yeah, nah, son. I loved he was amazing on that shit. And yeah, yeah be, I'd love to I would love to always get him on another track, yo. That that dude is he's the truth for real. Word. Yeah, that's family right there. On the video for hypnosis, man. That shit looking crazy in the background. Yeah, word up. Word up. Yeah, I'm yeah. watching this shit while y'all talking too. So like this shit is crazy. Like watching this shit. Yeah. <clears throat> but um yeah, I know you know. Definitely, uh, them two, them definitely, then the brothers we just mentioned. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I guess we could see whatever else pops up. You know, maybe we get JS one to fucking, you know, do some cuts on there. You know what I mean? So uh, that would be that would be that be sweet. You know what I mean? So you know, you know, anything is possible, bro. Anything is possible. So you know. You know what I think would be dope too is like fucking Zach Niff Nori the forty four. Yo, yo, that would be yo. I'm yo. I'm glad you said that because uh, uh, Silencer and L Leo SNL a lot from Maple Park uh, side B. We're dropping that next year, and we got uh, we got Zagdiff Nori on a joint on that. You know what I mean? So uh, oh, he murdered it. Yeah, I called that the, shit, nigga. I knew it. Dude. I had that's a feeling. Right <laughs> that's the dude right there. You know, what I saying? had a motherfucking dude, feeling, exactly. nigga. That's why I'm like, yo, nah, I'm gonna I'm bring this shit to so, the but nah, we quick. definitely, yo, we definitely can make that happen. We definitely can get him on the forty forty shit too, for real, yo. You know what I'm saying? That's that dude right there. Um, yeah, yo, even, but, um, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I, I like, I like where your mind's going, Supreme. I like where your mind's going. Yeah, because yeah. I already know, man, because when it comes to this music shit, I mix and match shit, bro. Like, a lot of it is <clears throat> I base it on vocal tone, I flow, you know what I mean? Like, I go real in depth with my music and shit, and <clears throat> I could hear Zach Niff and y'all voices together yeah, yeah, on a sure. track. It would, it would work. Sure. And another one I would have to say would be Bad Seed. Oh, yeah, he'd be crazy. Yeah, for sure he'd be crazy. Word up. Shout, shout out to Bad Seed. Shout out to that brother. Yeah, he's a beast. He's a beast upon beast. Word, Word up. Word, man. But, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, so I figured that if you had anybody you had thought about, like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, fucking, we'll throw some bread or we'll just go hit this nigga up and see what's good. Or, I mean, I look at it like it's worth it. If you're going to pay a feature, man, make it fucking worth it. Like, make it be yeah, your course. favorite MC or somebody you've been wanting to work with. Don't be on that, yo, let me go fucking pay Griselda or whatever the fuck these niggas' names is to hop on a track. Like, don't do that if you're not into it. More. Yeah. Like, stop fucking dick riding. Yo, niggas need to stop it. Just enjoy what you got. Like, I'll pay for a feature, like a Planet Asia site, or Smiley the Ghetto Child, or you know what I mean? Like, I even. I'll pay them niggas for verses because those are the people I listen to on a regular basis. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So I thought I forgot to ask you. Maybe y'all had somebody y'all was like talking about, like, yeah, you know what? Yo, fuck it. Let's get Smith and Wesson. <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, nah, I got the Smith and Wesson bread, though. Sorry, bro. You know what I'm saying? It steals my dude, but you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, nah. Yeah, I ain't gonna fuck, like, man. One, one time I tried reaching out to like uh, MOP to just see how much a feature will cost. Them niggas was trying to bang me in the head. Me, I was like, yeah, I can't even do it. I'm guessing five G's each. Something yeah, like that. Something like that. that. Yeah, it would have to be something like that. Yeah. yeah. For MOP. I mean, they are real. worth it, though. But, yeah, still, that's that's Definitely. a lot of bread, especially for niggas that got to do the nine to five and shit. <clears throat> yeah, nah, man. I can't. Ten grand, bro. That's fucking down payment on something, son. You know what I'm saying? Can't do that <sighs> one, bro. Word. Can't do that one, bro. Word, word. Yeah, that man. one. <laughs> Yeah, yo, I was gonna say, um, what was all this shit I was about to say? Y'all got any uh stories y'all got together, like hip hop shows or something, some shit that went down and nobody knows about? Like, nah, you know, I don't know, like beef shit, the crazy shit. I don't know, maybe Met Last Measure got some shit he wants to talk nah, about, some studio like, I, sessions, I, you know what I mean? But, uh, Nah, you know, well, I guess one cool story I can say recently, some bucket list shit for me was recently I got to fucking uh, record at Quad Studios um, in Midtown, you know what I mean, where, uh, where Pac got shot. Um, and just the, just the fact that I got to record in that studio and just to fucking lay down a verse for a project, um, you know, in that kind of place, environment, like that's like, you know, 
that's like the living the dream, like, you know what I'm saying, being a big, big budget artist and freaking, you know, having the fucking full, like, you know, studio session experience and shit like that. That shit was kind of fucking cool, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but, uh, yeah, you know, so I'm pretty boring, you know what I mean, man? You know what I'm saying? I like, I, 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 I like, I like no drama. I'm like Mary J. Blige. I like no more drama in my life, you know what I mean? So, uh, but uh, let's see what measure guy got up this Yeah, I mean, yo, man, I've been pretty fortunate, man. Like, you know, I ain't never really went to a show when niggas was acting disorderly or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? So I've been fortunate about that, like. Everywhere I went, you know, thank God, man, we we got love everywhere we went. So, you know, I can't be mad at that, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no crazy, you no know, crazy stories and shit. You know what I'm saying? The only thing I can think about, like, not even on no no fucking drama shit. Just like one time, I went to do a show in the Bronx, and um, it was for. Um, for Gorilla Grooves and the Rhinoceros, you know, this is one of my first shows I did out there. And yo, man, I went out there with a CD and shit, and my CD was in play. So, so I was like, they were like, yo, they were like, yo, the hell on right now, we got to do it to the beach, I got to do it to the beach. And then my and man Bird Soul just Bird jumped in, just jumped in, fucking started beatboxing and shit, fucking, beat 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 fucking murdered that shit to the beatbox. It was pretty cool and shit. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's real motherfucking hip hop when you improvise like that. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. That's beautiful. But my man versus yeah. Ordo, that nigga, that nigga be ready to fucking, that nigga, any, any hacklers, that nigga be ready to jump out. <laughs> that nigga be ready to jump out and fucking fight niggas, B. I'm like, nah, I, 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 I with all that, with all that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, yo, my man, my man versus Ordo, one time, one time. I went to his I show to, to his watch show him and shit. Him and, shit. and fucking, and like, you know, you know how sometimes, you know, sometimes the shows be having, like, little and shit, 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 and and then when they came then back, they came back he, he was the first he, he act, the first act to fucking jump in and shit, in and shit, so... You know, niggas are still eating, drinking, and shit like that. Like that, white trying to like yo, man, like yo, man, fuck me, y'all niggas better come the fuck over here and enjoy the show, man. Like the break, it's the break, it's the fuck over, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be getting wild at niggas be getting wild at them I already know and I'm the I dumb nigga too. I'll go all the way to the front of the motherfucking crowd and just banging out the motherfucking crowd. 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 Banging out so Yo, it's never man, just a nigga. One time, one time, I think it was in, in BK, man. We had went out there. We had went out there when it was the group shit, man, group and group fucking, shit, man. And fucking, we was doing like a competition like type a competition shit. Competition type shit. And fucking, and fucking, yo, man, we performed this shit. Performing and this yo, shit. I went to jump yo, off the stage and I busted my ass, in my bro. Ass, bro. Damn. Yo, so I brought so my ass, ass my but when ass, I fell, I was still, still spitting, bro. bro. I didn't let go of that shit, bro. Hip hop shit. shit. Yo, son, I got yeah, up and, and say, yo, I busted my ass and all that, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you know I just kept like, going. Like, I didn't let that shit stop me, bro. That's that's real though. That's how it's supposed to be. Nigga, just keep it. You know what I mean? Keep it going. Nigga, it happens, yo. But I was ready. I, I had that verse on lock so much that fucking like that I felt busting my ass. That shit didn't even interrupt. You know what I'm saying? Word, man. But you kept doing your thing though. That's that's what it boils down to. I mean, most niggas, most niggas would have been like, "Oh, crying at home to the mom, to the mom, to the mom, to my ass." Been his life. Been his life. Go on the motherfucking social media. So it's yeah, like so we need like, a different breed, yo. 
Came in second. Came in second. I'm not gonna fly you over. Got messed up my name for a collab and shit. I gotta hit the floor for a second because I'm like, this nigga really just want me to rock with him. Like, yo, but you're nice though. Hell yeah. Yo, honestly, I appreciate that shit. Not a lot of people know I rap. Not a lot of people have heard me rap. And I don't really think I'm up to y'all niggas' caliber, but I do, I do do some shit. Nah, you be doing your thing, son. Word, word up. That dude had to have some joints. I think that should be banging. Word up, yo. I'm looking forward to that. We are gonna get on there and kill that shit all together. Mm-hmm. Yo, I would not mind that. Nigga, now one, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, or we gonna we we gonna we gonna figure some shit out, man. I kind of tossed my microphone away, <laughs> so you know what I mean. Like, I mean, unless y'all niggas like the phone audio was saying, I I gotta figure some shit out. You know what I mean? But definitely. So these are goals, nigga. I want to set two of them. Yep, twenty twenty two, baby. Twenty twenty two goals. goals. I want us to try to work on that Liberty music video. Definitely. Yep, Definitely want it. that shit to happen. We got to figure that shit out from now. Um, <clears throat> definitely, we're going to work on this album. I'm going I'm to fuck with some shit and show you all some shit see what we can get out of it. Because right. I got like 300 beats, yo. It's just, I'm picky of my shit, too. It's like, what do I send niggas? Because at UT, like I say all the time, I'll send this nigga 100 beats. Maybe I got like two. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'll be like, damn, so what do I send to other niggas? And, you know what I mean? Like, everyone's got different tastes. So, yeah. But I got a lot. I got a lot I can send through and shit. I just not to stop uh, procrastinating. <clears throat> well, you know what? And, uh, producers are so judgmental of their own shit. You know what I'm saying? So I can understand where you're coming from with it. You know what I mean? But you don't be so judgmental. Just let it go. Just let it go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm about to yeah, start about sending to start that shit over here and see what happens. Because, yo, honestly, yo, honestly, with the, um, with the hell, hell, hey, love shit, hey, love shit. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect y'all to pick that. I'm going to keep it a motherfucking rock. Yeah, because, that's everything, bro. Yeah, we love that shit right there. But you know what I didn't expect like, it. Yo, we usually go so hard at, at certain joints that people don't expect us to come with on some chill shit, some lady shit, some, you know what I mean? But that's the thing about us. Like, we could practically hit any topic as long as we got that vibe coming. Like, yo, let's tap it like this. Once we get to it, get to it, man. Let's you know, just let it go. Just let it go and do the beautiful thing. No doubt, but no yeah, that's what I was referencing to, because <clears throat> that beat is kind of soft, but not really soft, soft. soft. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? But the way y'all handled your beats on, on that shit, it was, it was perfect. It was, it was but perfect. I didn't expect y'all to pick y'all to be honest with you. So, so yeah, that was a blessing in disguise. Yeah, so that translation, send us all your shit. And, uh, you know, let us be the judge. <laughs> yo, I don't know how many niggas I can take to be like, yo, I want two out the hundred. <laughs> I already get that from my big bro over there. I don't even know if I need that from y'all niggas, too. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> Word, man, but yo, but man, yeah. You got mad flavor, man. You know what I'm saying? You got mad flavor. So I'm sure it's going to have to be that, that wider selection for us to go like these 10 joints right here, 12 joints. We're going to smash these shits up. You know what it was, too, yo? When I was listening to the newer shit, man, flowing back to the other shit, the older shit we did. You got to get that chemistry. You know what I mean? For some reason, yeah, I don't feel like I got that. You know what I mean? Because to be honest with you, that was my trial and error, I guess you could say. Because when I met y'all, NUT was helping me kind of get my flow together, my shit together. So I was at a whole completely different level at back then. My shit was actually simple and whatever you want to call it. Now my shit seems more polished. So it's like, it, I don't feel, I don't hear it the same. I don't feel it the same. And 
That's why shit sounds weird to me now. Yeah, you get back into it, though. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm pretty sure the shit in there that you guys would like either way. That's how you are. Fuck, I want my gritty shit back, yo. You know what I mean? I want that slap you in the face shit. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm used to this NPC poly shit. Mm, I hear you. You want that SP-12 sound. Nigga, I want the fucking banging the trash cans outside my door sound. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm. straight, <laughs> straight raw sound type shit. Like, too much polish. I don't want this shit. I don't want this shit crazy. That whole album, every beat was just different. It wasn't like the same shit. It wasn't the same flow. It wasn't the same flavor. So that's what made the shit perfect. Yeah. Definitely. That shit happened. Definitely gonna work on some shit. But yo, um, I definitely appreciate y'all coming through, man. Like, because everybody's got stuff to do in their life. And I'm just trying to do what I can. So I appreciate y'all taking the time and shit to come through. Nah, it's our pleasure. Thank you for having us on Absolutely. it, brother. You know what I'm saying? Absolute honor and privilege, you know what I mean? So for you, we got you. Always. You guys got anything else you want to add? Any new uh, projects right now? Any new projects you want to put out? Yeah, uh, yo, definitely uh, support that Last Measure or uh, State of Chakras album just came out. You know what I'm saying? You can definitely hear some 4040 shit I'm on there. Um, definitely support the 4040 Genetic Code album. Uh, Explicit and LEO Nostalgia in the Blood album, Last Measure vs. All, All Measures Project. Those are the last four big projects we came out with. Support the West Studio, All Your Mind joint with uh, JS1. Support the Quest, G Out of Character, Two Sides to the Tape Project, Ustello Brothers album. Um, and yo, next year, Set Silencer, Set Silencer, Set Silencer. So we got the 4040, uh, f uh 4040, uh, Set Silencer album. We got the La for Maple Park Side B and the Meta Humans too. So definitely be on the lookout for all that shit. Drop a gem show coming sooner than later. So you know what I'm saying? We're coming with that shot, Speak No Evil, and the rest of the Killer Monsoon click. And um, yeah, man. So, you know, we got some good shit coming out. And um, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, uh, you got anything else uh, last you want to mention? You wrapped that up pretty well, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you're so well spoken, man. You know what I try, bro. Man, I want to make sure we got everything there. I want to show love. Want to show love to the whole fam. You know what I mean? There you go. Oh, why don't I tell them your uh, your handles too? I know y'all got different ones from the Instagram and then the Facebook shit. <clears throat> yeah, Instagram. You can find me at Drop a Gem Podcast. Um, Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Love equals omnipotence. Leo Reich. Um, same YouTube, Unleashed by Science. Um, SoundCloud, Love Equals Omnipotent. Same thing with Bandcamp. That's where you find the whole discography. Um, so check, you know, Killer Monsoon 4040. Check for all that on the digital streaming. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, that's all my shit. So you know what I'm saying? Come check the kid. Let him know, Measure. Yeah, yeah. Me on Instagram is at Measure Five. On Facebook is Last Measure, and on Twitter is Last Measure Five as well. So. Short and sweet. <clears throat> we definitely gonna be doing shit, man. The dog. <clears throat> I definitely, we're gonna keep doing more of these shits too. Like, we definitely gonna be, like I tell everybody, this ain't a one time shot. Like, I'm, we gonna be doing more and more. You know what I'm saying? So, I definitely want y'all to come back and down, drop more bars and shit. You know what I mean? Let me know All right, no do. doubt. We, next next time, me and uh, Last Measure are gonna like uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk the night before and have like a whole uh, Jada Kiss and Styles P back and forth routine Doing for you routine and shit. And shit. <laughs> that shit will Just be dope show. though. That shit will be you well, y'all y'all set the bar though. You know what I mean? Cause y'all y'all the first to do the off the head fucking right, wordplay. So that's what's you know up. what I mean? Send bars out here, yo. But all. Uh, all right. No doubt, but yo, I appreciate y'all, man. You know, um, I'm definitely going to be checking in on y'all. Y'all already know how, how I do and shit. And, um, you know, I'm going to let everybody know how to reach out to y'all soon. All right. That's what's Absolutely. up, baby. Thank yo, you one love. Us, you know what I'm saying? Much and, love. You know, we look forward to hearing from you soon. You got partner? And we're going to be checking. No doubt, no doubt. Both y'all be safe. Happy birthday, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, happy birthday to you too, brother. Word up. Word, I'm doing it up tomorrow. They can trust. <laughs> there you go, son. Have a drink. Have three drinks yeah, on me, sure. yo. Word up. Yes, sir. Yeah, motherfucking yes, legs. Just listen to hip hop, yo. I'm going to listen to the 4040 album, My Stupid. You know what I mean? Like, you there know. you go. I like that. Sounds like a day yes, well sir. spent. Yes, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Word. No doubt, no doubt. But I'll check you out in a few then, yo. All right, baby. One. Peace, God, bro. All right, peace. All right, peace, world. <clears throat>
Yeah, so that's all uh, the homies 40 40 and shit. You know what I mean? <clears throat> we got an album out together, Supremacy Doctrines all over the place. Um, shout out to everybody's supports. Shout out to everybody that's always tuning in. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to 4040, man. I appreciate everybody's time and shit. Because I know how hard it is to take people from their families when they got shit to do. But, you know what I mean? I, I still want to push everybody as best as I can within those time frames and whatever else. Um, definitely shout out to London LeBlanc Magazine. You know what I'm saying? Sound. Elite Sound International. Big Bob Patterson. Definitely shout out to the Snow Goons and Creative Juices Music. You know what I mean? ID. Those are all people. Those are all good people and shit. Make sure you follow them as well. They will be sponsoring the show, and I will be having them on everything I do. Cause this is how we handle things. You know what I'm saying? We all beat off each other and do what we got to do to push each other. So that's for y'all to know. Uh, I'm going to drop probably tomorrow the flyers for the next upcoming shows because I actually don't know right now. Everything's kind of out of whack, but I will be having more legends, more homies on the show and shit. It's definitely going to be worth your time. But I appreciate all y'all for coming through. I always appreciate y'all supporting. Check out the YouTube as well. The interviews are on there. Subscribe, et cetera, et cetera, yo. And y'all be safe. God bless.